We want to take some time to sort out what's going on with the Delta variant and the latest studies from the CDC. Joining us now is UCSF infectious disease expert, Dr. Peter Chin Hong. Now, doctor, we're getting our first look at the evidence the CDC used to recommend masks while indoors. What surprised you about their, their findings? The most surprising finding to me, Liz, was that the viral load or the amount of virus in the noses of vaccinated individuals was very similar to the viral load in the noses of unvaccinated individuals. And what that means is that vaccinated folks could potentially spread virus to others. So what is that? Do you think that we should not waste any more time and everybody should just be masking up? At all times. Well, at this moment, yeah, that's a great question, Liz. I think it's all context dependent. So, mm -hmm. of course, in this setting, the the, the outbreak in Provincetown, Massachusetts, which is really the big move uh, paper that had the CDC change its guidelines, was really kind of a setting where people were carrying on with wild abandon, like we did mm -hmm. after reopening. I think with masking and people being more aware, uh, we probably won't see that happen again. That was a super spreader event. So I think, you know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel still, uh, but definitely at this point, mask went indoors. There's a lot of circulating virus out there. Even if you're vaccinated, you can get it. You right. won't get sick, but you can spread it. Right. Now we're learning more about these reported breakthrough cases. What's important for our viewers to know about these cases? Is it just that you're not really going to get that sick if you have the shot? Yes, exactly. And, and that's the biggest take home <laughs> point for everyone. You can get infected. You're still going to get infected at a much lower rate than someone who's unvaccinated, but you're not going to get very ill. You're not going to go to the ICU. You're not going to be on a ventilator. And most importantly, you're not going to die. In fact, when you look at the even the current data, 99.5% and above of the hospitalizations, deaths uh, are in the unvaccinated individuals, even in the face of Delta. Yeah, I'm sorry, I took a really an inopportune time to, to cough there. Health officials in San Francisco now talking with other counties about a mask mandate. Do you think that it's going to be needed both indoors and outdoors in all settings? I think um, I think the writing on the wall for mask mandate is probably going to happen in many counties in the Bay Area simply because we're kind of at a, a really important point right now. Um, uh, people have moved around a lot. There's a lot of circulating virus. I think it's if it's going to happen, it's going to be a pause button kind of phenomenon. And I predict it will mainly be indoors, not everywhere. Uh, I think outdoors is still pretty safe. Still here in the middle of summer, but a lot of folks are thinking about potential vacations they have in the coming months and then the schools reopening. Do you anticipate the Delta variant having any impact on people traveling or kids going back to school? Okay. Sorry, I, I just missed that one. I, I froze for a second. No problem. The issues with technology sometimes. I, my question was, do you anticipate the Delta variant have any impact on folks' vacations or perhaps schools reopening? Um, I, I don't think it should really have a huge impact on vacations, except for maybe vacations internationally. Um, but, uh, you know, if you are aware and you're vaccinated, you're not going to get very sick. You just have to be aware and put on that mask. That will probably prevent a, a lot of your infection risk. And in terms of schools reopening, we are still not seeing a lot of kids under 12, even in the face of Delta, who are unvaccinated, get uh, uh, infected and definitely not get terribly ill. That is still good news. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Peter Jin Hong, for joining us.